लक्ष्मी केशवानी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू माई चैनल आर एंड आर रिव्यूज विद रश्मि टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू विंग्स ऑफ फायर विंग्स ऑफ फायर नो विंग्स ऑफ फायर friends i am sharing with you what we can take from this book wings of fire first of all this book is a story of apj abdul kalam a son of a common man with big dreams this book is also a story about what india aspired for itself struggled and was successful at achieving we all have dreams but what is it that makes some people successful and some not why is it that some are famous and some are not this book has the potential to answer many such questions that we have had since childhood and may have even today this book tells that desire expectation belief and faith can make anything possible it has the potential to turn our dreams into reality provided i have the faith that it will happen sometimes as children we choose our careers based on the future prospects not weighing so much on is my foundation strong am i passionate about it am i enthusiastic about it will i stay enthusiastic for it from from today till 10 years or 5 years down the line because if i'm not enthusiastic about it why am i doing it and on the contrary if i i am passionate about it if my foundation is strong if i'm enthusiastic about it the opportunity does not have to come to me then i will create opportunities i would like to share one thing with you here there are two types of vision one is fear ridden and second is fate driven imagine you are lying on your bed with a severe illness you have lot of desires in you you want to go out and meet your friends you want to do something for your people for your community for the society but will you be able to do any of it if you are bed ridden no fear makes you bedridden it makes you crippled and takes you away from your dreams will you be able to run a race if your legs are tied think of it where is the ship that sails on the sea the safest on the sea shore right but is the ship made to stay on the sea shore the winds are going to blow the waves are going to be heavy but does that mean that the ship should not sail that is exactly what we are doing to ourselves the problems are going to come the times are going to be tough but does that mean that we should confine ourselves into our comfort zone of the four walls sometimes in our lives there are a lot of problems and we don't know where to go to we don't know who to talk to and so we just sit down and pray when we are done praying we feel that the severity of the problem has reduced we feel calm around us and we feel as if the problem for which we were trying to find a solution has come into our minds we wonder why do we pray we also wonder sometimes the relation the connection between science and faith the book has mentioned two things that i would like to share with you 
One, at any moment in the entire day that I'm praying, there are many millions of people praying with me at that particular moment. And that strengthens my spiritual bond that makes us connected spiritually. Secondly, in our school days, in science, we've learned that every particular thing has a limited time period. Every thing decays after a certain amount of time. Isn't this successful at reminding me about my time on this planet? Isn't it an alarm to me that I need to strengthen my bond with my creator because I have to go there? Doesn't science then succeed at making a path for me to connect me to my creator? There is one more thought in this book that I would like to share with you all. During our school days, we used to always wait for the bell to ring for the recess and we used to share our tiffins with everyone in our classroom. Did we ever do that out of an obligation or out of joy, out of excitement, out of care? I am sure you all would say that it was out of joy, it was out of excitement and care. I wonder why did this act of sharing, which is also called sharing is caring, then turn into an obligation, a duty as we grew older. This book has many such moments of eye openers. The three main takeaways from this book are first, Fight your problems head on. Second, create a plan of action by doing three things each day that take you closer to your dream. And third, be totally committed and totally involved in anything that you do. It is said that do not read success stories as you'll get a message. Read failure stories as you'll get an idea. But this book is a success story and a failure story that guides you and takes you closer to your dream. If you have read this book, do let me know what are your takeaways from the book and share your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. Thank you.